Should we do our intro? All I really can have. What's going on, Wanna? I'm Sinai. And I'm Auntie Shani. Welcome to Growing Up Gooding. Today we'll be talking about the West Indies slash Caribbean. Sanai. Yes. What does the West Indies and the Caribbean have to do with Barbados? They're related somehow. They are related. Barbados is located in the Caribbean, also known as the West Indies. and West Indies because when Columbus uh, discovered that part of the world, he thought he had reached the Indies and so named it that. And when it was figured out that he was nowhere close, they decided to name it the West Indies. <laughs> he was nowhere close. Nowhere close. I'm trying to look at the globe over here. Let me get my... Oh, yeah, pull out the globe. Um, trying to locate it. independent countries and mm. and then numerous territories so some islands are under France or Britain um, the Netherlands and so on Puerto Rico is a territory of America but it is an island in the Caribbean mm -hmm. Barbados, Jamaica, Antigua, Bahamas, Cuba, Dominica, Dominican Republic, Grenada, Haiti, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and Trinidad and Tobago. How many of those are familiar to you? A couple are familiar. I know Barbados, Jamaica, Cuba, Bahamas, and I think I heard of St. Vincent, and that's it. Okay. No Trinidad and Tobago? No? Okay. Oh, Trinidad, yes. <laughs> Bagel, no. Ah, yes. So um, people usually refer to Trinidad and Tobago just as Trinidad for short, um, but it is uh, two islands and they're called Twin Islands. What's up? Why are they called Twin Islands? Oh, that's a good question. Because they're really close in proximity and they share the same government. There are two islands, but one country. Okay. These islands, along with several others like um, Bonaire, Anguilla, the Cayman Islands, Curaçao, um, Martinique, they make up the Caribbean. And basically, we share a very similar culture. So even though we're from Barbados and we rep BIM, that's a nickname for Barbados, there's also a, a shared culture with these islands. So when you go to Jamaica or you go to Trinidad or you go to um, Guyana, which is not an island, but it shares the culture. Guyana is located in South America, but they share the same kind of culture. We have similar foods. We have similar music. So I spoke about music. What type of music do you know from the Caribbean? Soca music. See, I remember that. What about, remember when we were watching Beanie Man and Bounty Killer on Versus and you said they move well for old people? Oh, yes. What kind of music was that? The thing of reggae music. So, yes, it is a type of reggae that is dance hall, and then there's all different types. Reggae, I think, would probably be the overall genre. I think a lot of people, me included, sometimes when I think of West Indian music, I'll stop at, um, 
soca, calypso, reggae, but there's so much more than that. There's compa, there's parang, there's chutney, there's all kinds of beautiful music that comes out of uh, the islands. Drop some different types of music that comes out of the Caribbean in the, ch in the comment below. So we've got the music. We got the places. Yeah, we talked about some of the, the different islands and countries. What have we not talked about? The food. Each island has a national A dish. national dish. Yeah. It's something that that island is like known for. Ours would be cuckoo and flying fish. Guyana has pepper pot, which I've had pepper pot in Barbados, but now I need to know what Guyana's uh, pepper pot tastes like. Oh, Jamaica, ackee and saltfish. Oh! What types of food, when I say Caribbean or West Indian, what types of foods come to mind? Why do I think eggnog? I don't know. That's not West Indian. Although we have several versions of it and they all include alcohol in the islands. You got Ew. Coquito from Puerto Rico. You got Pancha Crema from Barbados. Um, ooh, I can't remember what it's called in Haiti, but it tastes great. Um, every island, I feel like, calls it something different, but it's basically a milk-egg combination with liquor and, it's, and spices, and it's very yummy. <laughs> Let's carry on. So what foods come to mind, Sanai? <laughs> Curry chicken. I do like that. Almost all of the islands make some kind of, make curry chicken and curry goat. Um, you can't put it in sauce, you like it, but I don't think you- I love it. that. Ah, okay. So those are some foods that you have had. So we talked about the similarities and differences of our culture. Um, I want to play a game with you. I'm gonna say a thing, and you're gonna try to guess what it means. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. This first one probably is a good one because I might be a little late. It might be too late, guys. That's a clue for you. So the saying is, you can't bend a tree when it will. Say that again. You can't bend a tree when it will. And without the accent, it is, you can't bend a tree when it's old. I have the Jamaican version, I think, to this. See if you can understand it and say it this way. Um, and I am not going to try a Jamaican accent. <laughs> but it says, bend tree when it young, when it old, it will brook. It will break. Let me think about this while yelling at Micah. Hold on. That is exactly what it's about. <laughs> OK. Treat a child to be nice, but if you try to teach an old person that, they won't get it. Well, that's pretty close. So, yes, I've often heard it in the regards of raising a child. So, you have to teach it um, when it's young. Otherwise, you cannot correct it when it gets older because it's stuck in those bad habits. That's right. There you, go. you know, when you're young, you, you're, you're able to learn new things and adapt better than when you're older. Um, all right. So we'll give you that. Next one. You ready, right? You ready? Okay. Hard is you want here? On way you're going to feel. I'm gonna, what? Okay. That was the Bajan full accent. I'm going to do Bajan no accent. <laughs> Hard ears you won't hear own way you will feel okay um so that one more time but i think i got it okay okay give it to me if you're stubborn you don't listen but if you do it your own way you listen and you know it yes if you're stubborn if you're hard ears and you don't listen you're going to feel in the sense that you will reap the consequences um of your actions because you wouldn't listen. So if you're playing somewhere that's dangerous and your mom keeps saying, don't play over there, you're gonna get hurt and you won't listen and then you get hurt, you felt it, right? Um, because you didn't mm -hmm. listen. So, all right. Let's just say I'm right again. Let's just say you're right again. I like this game. <laughs> okay, this one is a grandmummy favorite and it goes, 
if you ain't got hearts right co the american translation is if you don't have a horse ride a cow what do you think that means okay i think that means if you don't have something try something else pretty much if you are missing like an ingredient substitute two i was right Let's <laughs> <do that. laughs> yes you're on a roll okay i feel like i would be remiss if i did not mention cheese on bread have you ever heard us say cheese on bread I always hear you say it, but I don't know what it means. Hold on. <laughs> cheese on bread means you're having a hard time and it's like cheese on bread, which is disgusting, by the way. Uh, you've had grilled cheese. You don't like grilled cheese? That's two pieces of bread together. Different. No one said how many breads there were. <laughs> Actually, I mean, it can go for something that didn't go your way. Cheese on bread is just an exclamation. So it's a, oh my gosh. That's what I said. Wow. Didn't I, didn't I want to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, the, it, it can work for what you said. So four for four. Look at her go. Look at her go. She's a whole Western. Um Come to me for West Indies advice. Whoa. Come to you for advice on the West Indies? Okay, I'm coming to you for advice on the West Indies. What you got? Um, that's how you say those things. Bam. Besides cheese on bread, do you remember any of them that I just said? Of course I do. So give me one. Did I know them? If you don't have cow, Use a horse. <laughs> Very close. Um, uh, if you don't have horse, ride cow. But I am proud of you. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> Not the same thing, because nobody rides cows. I'm quite proud that you you retained that one. <laughs> I like that one. You would. It's grandmommy's favorite. And you two are like the same. That's it for our brief a little intro to the Caribbean slash West Indies. Thanks for watching. What do they gotta do tonight? Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Yep, that sounds about right. And we'll see you next Sunday. Bye bye. Yeah. Would you like to go to Paris? Sorry, let's do it again. Barbados is located. <laughs> I think there's an eyelash in my eye. I feel like it's still in my eye. Can you blow in my eye? Oh, that feels better. Thank you. Actually, that did work. Why did it work? Because <laughs> you're nuts. I'm right here. How are you? Let me just adjust my hair. <laughs>